Central Obsession's King of Kings. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Central Obsession's King of Kings. Now, when I first got this fragrance, I actually thought it was a mix of Elysium and Aventus, and um, actually it goes after the 2013 Z201 batches of Aventus. Basically, one of the most famous batches of Aventus, a couple of fragrance companies have kind of gone back in time and made their own version of this kind of Aventus. People say it's the best kind of Aventus. I did do a little bit of research on it, and I think it was heavy on the pineapple, and that is one thing I did notice about this fragrance when I was spraying it. I noticed a definite good, noticeable fruity quality versus other batches. And I thought it was more due to it being kind of closer to Elysium because I thought Elysium, when I've smelled it, smelled a little bit like Sauvage, a little bit like Aventus. So generally a pretty fruity smell. This ends up copying the very good batches of Aventus. This is a one ounce and I sprayed well over half, dousing up as much as I could before I did this review. The notes are pineapple, bergamot, black currant, apple, Birch, patchouli, Moroccan, jasmine, rose, musk, oak moss, ambergris, and vanilla. Some of the newer versions of Aventus, they're kind of more lighter, less on the fruit, kind of more well-balanced. Some of the first times I smelled Aventus, I didn't smell that much of the vanilla. Newer batches of Aventus seem just more smooth versus being more on the black currants, being more on the musk, or being more on the fruits. This one, it had a really, really good balance of fruits. I would say that was kind of its strongest suit. I didn't smell much vanilla in there. Aventus has this thick kind of birch smell that kind of smells like musk in its own way and the birch was just perfect. It was there, it was noticeable, but it was never too much kind of letting the, the fruits be slightly overpowered versus it and I actually really enjoyed it. If I were to go into the pros of this fragrance, the pros is that it smells great. I mean, there was one point when I sprayed this up and I was like, wow, like I wonder if I should come out with my own cologne and I was just like, well, I could probably call this guy and be like, hey, make me this cologne and put my name on it. I was just randomly thinking that. So for me to randomly think that, it's gotta be a really good smell. It's very likable, it's really good. I think that fruity musky scents are one of the best for a manly type smell. I think it smells good, but it also smells manly at the same time. And this is absolutely one of the best. It smells great in the high heat, especially. It smells good with sweat. Overall, very, very good, very fresh version of this. And I enjoyed every time that I was wearing it, especially in the heat. I feel like it has the right amount of birch sometimes you go to club dean a wee or whatever and it'll be like overkill on the birch things like that this birch was just perfect mixed in with the fruits i really really did enjoy it i really didn't have too too many the main one is that it's not really good in cold weather but none of the adventist versions are it's a fresh fruity sense also the projection for me was right down the middle i actually had a friend of mine who bought a sample of aventus i showed him this thinking it was aventus and elysium mix and he just commented on how light this is and i gotta say as you can see how much I've sprayed. It is a very, very light scent. It is noticeable, it is good enough, but it's not something like overkill. Versus the Abercrombie & Fitch version that I just reviewed, I sprayed much less of this. The Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce version that I just reviewed, I was getting um, whiffs off the clothes several days after wearing, which I really, really did enjoy. I don't really get too much whiffs even a day after with this one. It's got a very, very nice, pleasant smell. I haven't really done too much extra investigation on Aventus to see if it used to be really strong back in the day when it first came out it was on the stronger side now it's a little bit on the lighter side this one's kind of right down the middle it is passable but something like his copy of fierce did last much longer so if i were to give it a smell rating i would give it an 8.5 to a 9 very very solid smells good really enjoyed it and every time that i stretched it it never really smelled bad likability 9 out of 10 this is probably its strongest suit it's just such a likable scent and i really enjoyed this one had absolutely no negative side effects whatsoever except for that um it didn't last very long but besides that I enjoyed everything about it projection I'm gonna have to give it a 6.5 to a 7 but that's considering all scents I, I say this in a lot of my videos but certain scents you can last on clothes for like 10 to 15 days so considering all scents I'm gonna give this a 6.5 to a 7 but it's definitely passable definitely very good situations to use this you kind of would already know I didn't really write down any but whenever Aventus could be useful you could use this uh, it's you know probably decent for the gym smells good decent for work decent for the classroom what I like about Aventus is that it kind of excels in a lot of areas it smells good for work 
maybe not as much for a date, but just an everyday wear. It just has a unique, fresh goodness that works in so many good areas. Just wish it lasted a little bit longer, but I haven't really come across an Aventus clone that smells as good as this and projects more. Uh, I've kind of been off the beaten path, like looking at Aventus because there's been so many clones out there and there's so many ones that smell so good. And usually Aventus is something that's pretty easy to copy when you look at the range of all fragrances. Like I would think it would be almost easier to create an Aventus clone than it would be to create a really authentic fierce clone, but that's just me. I actually had somebody comment on one of my videos saying that they wish they had bought a bigger bottle of this because it smells so good. I really, really did enjoy it. And like I said, I ran the was daydreaming and I was like, man, if I just call Central Obsessions and say, hey, I want to make my own scent, but I want it to be this king of kings just because it's so good. I like it. I was actually thinking about that. So that should let you guys know that I really do like it. But what is your favorite version of Aventus? Is it one of those Arma versions? Is there some other versions of Aventus? I know there's about a million of them out there. So let me know what your favorite version of Aventus is. Let me know which version of Aventus I should look at next because I really do enjoy this scent. It is so likable. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.